Good evening, students. Today's Premier Academy LMR question. If there is a conflict between net present value and IRR, how to select the project? This question is based on capital budgeting. In capital budgeting, one concept decision making tool is called, project evaluation technique is called, net present value, another one is called IRR. You know, various techniques are there. Simple payback, discounted payback, payback reciprocal, accounting rate of return, average rate of return, or annual rate of return, net present value, profitability index or desirability factor, internal rate of return, multiple internal rate of return, modified internal rate of return, capital rationing, so many techniques are there. Net present value into internal IRR is the most important. Net present value represent what? Total discounted CFAT, how much you have earned after considering time value of money. That's why discounted CFAT minus initial investment is equal to net present value. So, total discounted CFAT minus initial investment, the positive means we can accept the project, negative means we have to reject the project. That is called net present value. IRR represent what? The positive or net, negative net present value arises purely based on my inflow. The inflow is purely based on the discount factor or PV factor. Therefore, in which PV factor, in present value factor, in which discount factor, my inflow is equal to outflow. My total discounted CFAT is equal to initial investment. That therefore, I am going to get zero profit, similar to break-even point. Zero profit. That particular rate, that particular percentage, that is particular what? Uh, discount rate, that particular PV factor is called IRR, internal rate of return. While doing the selection, the selection process, suppose net present value of the product project comes to first project comes to ten thousand, project B comes to twenty thousand. A net present value ten thousand, B twenty thousand. Which one is preferable? B is preferable. More income, more net present value. IRR of the first project comes to fifteen percentage. Second project comes to ten percentage. Then A will be preferable because. Higher the IRR is preferable and with respect to net present value, higher the net present value is preferable. Suppose if there is a conflict between net present value and IRR, say my our own example, project A 10,000 net present value, project B 20,000 net present value, so B is preferable. But based on IRR, 15 percentage and what? 10 percent mean, 15 percentage is preferable, therefore A is preferable. Now there is a conflict in selecting the project based on net present value and IRR, which one you have to select. The general rule is, we have to select the project based on net present value. Why? Because net present value represents real cash inflow, my income. Therefore, net present value is the criteria. But exception to general rule. If the difference of opinion comes because of difference in life between the two projects, project A for 5 years, project B for 7 years, then we count the portion to compare 7 years profit to 5 years profit. That is called life disparity, life of the project. Whenever life disparity is there, the above mentioned general rule is not applicable. What is above mentioned general rule? Net present value is a criteria for selecting the project is not applicable. If there is no life disparity, net present value is the criteria. Higher than net present value you can select. But in case of life disparity is there, then we have to select the project based on equivalent annual cash flow method. So in which circumstance equivalent annual cash flow applicable? If there is a life disparity, difference in life between one project and another project. This time it's the most important question based on life disparity you have to what, compute the answer. How to compute net uh, life equivalent annual cash flow? Net present value of the project divided by annuity factor for the project, annuity factor for the respective years. 5 years for the project may mean 5 years annuity factor, another one 7 years means 7 years annuity factor. So, net present value divided by annuity factor is equal to equivalent annual cash flow. So, between the two equivalent annual cash flow, where I am going to get more net present value, more equivalent annual cash flow, that option is preferable. This is with respect to income point of view, net present value is a profit inflow. Suppose they will ask, I want to purchase a missionary, then expenses point of view.
how much the total cost of the missionary after considering time value of money divided by annuity factor for the respective years is equal to equivalent annual cash flow. Annual cash flow means cash flow will inflow or outflow. Here the second case, missionary purchase been my expenses. Then between two projects, which one has the least rank, least cost, that option is preferable. Therefore, equivalent annual cash flow is the most important one. Annual average per annum. How much your cash outflow? That is what you are going to compute. It may be inflow or outflow depending upon the what expenses detail or income detail. Therefore, equivalent annual cash flow is important in case of life disparity. This time it's expected question. Bye.